Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Um, so last time out we started off the game and we pretty much did the, tu the uh, tutorial, the prologue level, and got our first uh, Grand Star. So for today's part we are going to be starting our first hub area. The uh, I can't remember what the name of the place is. Um, <laughs> the Terrace, that's what it's called. Um, and so we're going to be heading through to our, uh, heading to our first galaxy proper. Uh, and this is pretty much how all the levels kind of, how all the areas, the hub areas kind of work. You've got a, a handful of galaxies, all of them uh, can be unlocked by having a certain number of power stars. I think the maximum amount that you need uh, to unlock the final world the final galaxies is like 60. I think it's like half of the um, uh, the total uh, like the total stars that you can collect. But anyway, we're starting off with Good Egg Galaxy, which is a really fucking awesome uh, beginner level, starter level. And this soundtrack. God, the Good Egg Galaxy music is so good. It's just got such a nice theme. It's uh, fully orchestrated. Um, and it just sounds so nice. It's a, it's great. I love it. Um, and Good Egg is actually a pretty... is a good starter level. It's a really fun level to go through. Uh, and this is kind of like how all the galaxies are kind of set up as well. It's basically... It, they're basically kind of separate areas. Like, basically, you go through the first... Like, it's all... They're all in the same galaxy. Um, but... Um, like, each uh, section is kind of separate. So you can only go through this section... Uh, by clicking on the first level uh, and then uh, when you click on the second level you can only go a, a, you can only go a certain way at, uh, from the beginning <coughs> of the galaxy uh, from the beginning of the level and what that will give you is it will then give you <laughs> fuck. Uh, what it will then give you is uh, a completely new um, level pretty much to go through but it's in the same kind of uh, general area and has the same kind of aesthetic. Um, so it's pretty awesome. And as you can see, I'm trying to pick up as many of these um, um, star bits as I possibly can. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate those things. They're kind of irritating. <laughs> um, the reason is because I need a lot of these things to kind of unlock. It's basically uh, mainly to unlock the uh, extra galaxies because every um, every um, hub has like a pink luma that you can find that shows up. Um, basically, the pink luma turns into an extra galaxy, uh, an extra level to go through. Is that this music? I love this music so much. Uh, but yeah, it's, this is a really good starter level. You can kill these things, by the way, the boulders. They have like a red, gooey kind of thing on them. And if you... Fuck you. <laughs> uh, they have like a red, gooey thing on them. And if you spin attack into the red, gooey section, then you get... then. Um, if you spin into the red, gooey thing, then you destroy them and you get a fuck ton of... Um, Fuck. Uh, and then you get a load of uh, star bits. Yeah, I do this for a little while and then give up. It's got be asked. Uh, yeah, also 50 star bits and you get uh, an extra life. It's really easy to rack up the lives of the galaxy. Especially if you just go out your way to kill as many enemies as possible. Yeah, this guy drops a load of them. Yeah, you want to spin, get close to him and spin attack. I was, I thought you had to. Uh, butt slam. Ow! Fucking bitch. 
Now these things are called, uh, I believe, their title, uh, what they are called is Electro Goombas. Fuck you. Give me my health back. Yeah, these things are called Electro Goombas. Ow! God, he got me out of midair. But they are very similar to uh, Octorox from Zelda, <laughs> to be fair to them, in terms of the way they look and what they do. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. <laughs> Am I going to die? <laughs> that would be the, that would be so lame. But yeah, I think they're technically called Electro Goombas, but um, they look, they look like fucking, they're Octo Rocks. <laughs> anyway, time for the first boss. And we've got to crack it open. You know, it's, you know, got to deal with it. So yeah, it's kind of like a baby P.T. Piranha. Uh, apparently there's a Mrs. P.T. Piranha. Ah! Yeah, I do really badly here. I think it's because I'm, I'm focusing on uh, getting breaking stuff. And then I'm like, fuck it. I've got to kill you. <laughs> it's too late to perform an abortion, but we can still... <laughs> we can still kill you. You're a peaty piranha. You're an abomination. You need to go. Oop. And by the way, the little green shoot you can see there on the floor, if you shoot that with a star bit, then it uh, produces an extra uh, gold coin for you to for you to um, top your health up. And there we go. This is power star number one. I know we got a grand star, which still only counts as one, apparently. But this is our first power star. And that's the first sec the first level done. Um, basically, each galaxy has three paths for you to go through. So we've gone through path one, as it were, of Good Egg Galaxy. And we've beaten Dino Piranha. He was such a bitch, by the way, in, in uh, Sunshine. PT Piranha. <laughs> I fucking hated his boss fight. Um, but anyway, I say boss fight, we fought him a bunch of times. But it is, um, it's similar, Galaxy's system is similar to Sunshine's, really. Because Sunshine had basically a giant hub area. Eat that. Eat that. Um, <laughs> but what was the same? Uh, Yes, yeah, so it's similar to Sunshine in the fact that in Sunshine you go, there are areas which, t there are these things which took you to, like little hub things, which take, little areas in the hub which took you to the level. And then you did, there were six things to do in that level. And then once you've uh, done all six of the um, tasks, then you're kind of done with that world, kind of en ending with a big boss fight. Uh, Galaxy is similar in, in, Except that basically they shrunk them down a bit, so each galaxy has three levels. And here's the first uh, appearance of the pink Luma. Um, but yeah, in, in Galaxy, the in each individual galaxy has three levels, uh, three main levels anyway. Fuck you. Fuck you. I need to pick up as many of these as possible. Uh, and then, you know, that's pretty much what they give you. Like, three levels. You know, three uh, paths you have to go through through it for each galaxy. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I kind of... Ah! Bitch! Yeah, I need to get a load of these. Um, I think... If I remember correctly, I think it's 50 you need? These Loomers keep killing themselves in order to allow me to progress. <laughs> Turn themselves into pole stars and all sorts of things. The pole stars are actually not, uh, are actually pretty good. Like they are pretty useful as a uh, like they're pretty easy to use and they're not all that difficult. I'm there already. Um. But yeah, um, 
There are certain uh, control. Ah, bitch. Where's he gone? There you go. There are certain power stars which I. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh my god! I got killed by a fucking goomba. All right, it's time to give up. I quit. <laughs> I think I've got enough now. Uh, even in this galaxy, you know, you can basically... Don't, if you don't spin there, you drop onto that planetoid there, and you can basically go through... Uh, have another section of the level to go through. Um, which is kind of cool. But... Let's get some more of these. Alright, how many do you need? Is it 100? It might be 100. Uh, how many do you need, Pink Luma? Come on, tell me. Oh shit, you need a hundred, don't you, you fat fuck. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I had to bugger off for a little bit. I've got a hundred now though, so uh, let's feed this greedy little shit. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, the ones that are outside the main hubs, uh, they need they need a lot of these fucking things. So a new planet is born, and that turns into a pink power star, a pink kind of uh, sling star, uh, to allow us to continue on. Yeah, I always thought this uh, planetoid looks like a um, a per. It looks like someone wearing a like a like a hat, like a top hat, <laughs> or a witch. <laughs> Yeah, screw it up though. This is something that I like about um, Galaxy, it's just... Ah, my face! <laughs> uh, it's just how versatile Mario is and how um, good his abilities are. Oh, extra life. Because he's got, you know, got the wall climb, uh, got the long jump, got the um, the somersault jump, the side the side the side spin jump as well which gives you um a lot uh, which gives you a fair bit of um distance too i mean damn i think the only mario uh, version of mario that's more capable than galaxy's version is um the one from um from uh what's the game uh, Odyssey, because Odyssey, Odyssey has a ridiculous amount of moves at its disposal. Yeah, I want to go across here. Go past you. And away we go. See, I, that's the side jump. I did that accidentally. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's head up here. The only thing that I kind of get peed off with um, at times is the uh, with Mario Galaxy is the gimmicky controls, by which I mean, you know, the weird flight controls that you have and the weird kind of um, fuck swimming controls and stuff like that. Um, also, the uh, gravity can uh, screw up occasionally. It's not the end of the world, mind, but. Um, it's just something which irritates me about. Um, about the way... Uh, about Galaxy's controls. Like, the gimmicky stuff can be a bit irritating. But, um... Still love it. <laughs> Let's get that. Alright, we're almost done. I would... Ah, fuck. Fuck. There you go. So now we got a sling start. And this takes me longer than I uh, would like to admit. <laughs> kind of sucked. Damn it, I shot some star bits. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, this took me a while. Because I'm being a dumbass. Yep. Kind of screwed up here. <laughs> oh dear. What was I doing there? Fucking hell. Come on, Tom. There you go. <laughs> Got there in the end. 
But there we go, that's the second one done. Uh, the middle one, um, the middle level um, of, the th of the three is usually just like a platforming level, which doesn't have a boss normally. I'm adding that normally because I know that there's going to be one down the line where there will be one, and I'll look like a prat. <laughs> um, but as far as I'm aware, the middle galaxy is always just like a platforming level and doesn't have a boss. First one has a boss, second one has, uh, the last one has a boss. Yep, I'm not done with Good Egg yet, so let's keep going. One final level in Good Egg to go, Good Egg to go through, and that is uh, here we go, King Caliente's Battle Fleet. Uh, I like King Caliente as a boss. This is a fun boss, but we'll see. That intro, those those horns as you go into the level, I just love it to death. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing there. Oop. See, I love that. It's awesome. So we want to head for... We don't want the green pipe. Oop. Get off me. I don't know what these things do. I've never let them stay on me long enough to see if they cause damage. I don't think they do. I think they slowly drain star bits, from what I remember. More galaxy gimmick. Or more gravity gimmick, I should say. Galaxy game, yeah. This is something I think... I'm trying to remember. I think this was introduced in Galaxy. I don't... Was it? Yes, it was. I think it was introduced in Galaxy. I can't remember it being in um, Sunshine or 64. Uh, so this was introduced in Galaxy and has been used in every 3D Mario game ever since. Yeah, so you shoot the gold things and they give you a coin as well, so. They do give you a lot of um, option, uh, uh, options uh, in terms of whether you get coins or star bits. Always a ton of star bits to get, to be fair. Okay, this section always uh, took me a while first time I played it, because it took me a while to learn, we figure out what the fuck I'm meant to do. <laughs> um... Right, line it up. There you go. Just the right thing, and that's we can go to the other planet now. And on this planet, oop, there's a dead Goomba. See, I wasn't lying. Um, there's a coin. I'm c uh, the only thing I kind of shit. <laughs> I'm kind of shit. Yes, I am kind of shit. Um, <laughs> the only thing I'm kind of annoyed about is um, ow. You bitch. Die. See, I thought that green patch was like a... The only thing I am get slightly annoyed about it is the fact that... Line it up. There you go. Um, it's the fact that the coins don't really do anything other than give you health points back. I don't know what they could have done, mind you, but it just would have been more interesting, I suppose, if they did something with it. I guess kind of similar to what they did with it in, um, in, um, Odyssey. Fuck you. Die. Because uh, in Odyssey, basically, those things were just used as, um, you know, to buy costumes and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is the Invincibility Star. Looks a fair bit different than it does in any other... Mario game, you, you basically speed along and you basically also have a lot more um, acrobatics, I guess, acrobatic ability. Um, and the invincibility start is the only way you can destroy the fuck. Is the only way you can destroy the chain chomps. I don't the or the chomps that have chains on them, so they're not chain chomps technically. Um, there we go. Boop. And that's the sort of thing which I really like about this game. So many options for uh, movement. Ah, fuck. Asshole. Yeah, these th I run into these things more often than I would care to admit. 
should really do better. Anyway, moving on. Let's. Damn it. Let's get going. Come on. There we go. I also love the pointers. The pointer control. So that you can just get stuff whenever the fuck you want. This is kind of nice. It's like a little precursor to what you're going to be doing to the boss. Which is kind of nice. I guess there may be the space to be more like little calientes. I'll save you, you green fuck. Now be grateful. Alright. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's get going. <coughs> My apologies. There we go. He's dead. He's dead. I'll leave you two to mourn. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Like I said, I really like the pointer controls just because you can get galaxies much quicker. Like you can get, you know, the item, uh, the, the, um, the star bits as you're going along. It's kind of cool. There we go. Oh, see, that was me holding back because I thought I might jump into the lava <laughs> with the long jump. Now it's time for King Caliente, the actual boss. And he shoots fireballs, uh, but also shoots coconuts. Why? I don't know. And pretty much that's what you got to do. Repeat it. Hit him three times. And right in the face, and now he's lost his crown. Does that mean he's technically not a, not a king anymore? It's just Caliente now. Then he shoots these things at you, which will slowly... Oh, shit. They won't slowly shit. They'll slowly, like, attack you. Ooh, just about got it with the tip of my spin. And boom! Like I say, easy boss, but pretty fun. I really like the boss. Uh, I really like King Caliente's boss fight. And we're done. That's good a galaxy finished with. Uh, well, there's the optional um, galaxy, uh, the optional extra stuff. There's an optional extra one for Great Galaxy, but um, won't be need doing that for a long time. Anyway, that's it for this part of Super Mario Galaxy. Join me next time uh, when we'll be continuing uh, through the uh, the terrace. I can never remember. We're going to continue through the terrace, and we're going to um, move on to the next galaxy. So join me next time for the next part of Super Mario Galaxy. <sighs> See you next time.